And I might as well tell you this, folks. You know, uh, I, as most of you know, I was raised Catholic. I was, I went to Catholic school all the way through high school. That's right, Jesuit trained, but I'm not a Jesuit, folks. Although the Jesuit order ran the schools I went to, I didn't know my parents put me there, and God blessed them for doing what they thought was right. Certain tenets of the Jesuit tradition have sustained me throughout my life and career. Two of these, precision of thought and economy of expression, inform how I think, how I write, and how I communicate with the public every day, especially during the present unsettling times. It was better than going to these government schools. Even though I got taught the same lies, at least it was wrapped in a soft blanket instead of one that was dipped in manure, okay? The bottom line is, when you go into one of these Catholic churches, you will see a couple of things that should lead you to believe that what you're looking at inside there is the combination of a Babylonian sun worship and Christianity and paganism all blended into one. And one of the things is the trophy hanging over their altar. That's right, that, uh, that thing over the altar shows Jesus nailed to a cross. That's the trophy, folks. That's the trophy of the deniers of Jesus Christ. We got them, okay? Just as important, however, is the Jesuit emphasis on social justice and service to others. And now is the time, if ever there was one, for us to care selflessly about one another. Bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you?